Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to play with the two new palettes from Menagerie Cosmetics. The Paws palette and the Claws palette. I'm going to create a couple looks, maybe do a look with them together, do some swatches, and let you guys know if this is the usual good formula from Menagerie and whether it's worth picking up or not. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty. And I like to post a lot of fun and colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot of new makeup, so if that is what you're into, then please hit that subscribe button and and join this little family but with that being said let's get into this video <music> by Snickerdoodles. Let's just get right into this review. If you don't know about Menagerie Cosmetics, they're an indie brand and all of their makeup is around animals and nature and I'm a huge animal lover so I really love that about the brand and I've tried their eyeshadows. They're really good. I've tried their blushes and overall I've had a really positive experience. So when I saw this collection come out, they actually released it on Black Friday. I was like, I have to get these. These are so adorable and cute. So they have the Paws palette and the Claws palette. They both go for $36 each or you can get them in a bundle for $72. I think they're meant to be companion palettes, so they're supposed to like go really well together, which I could see that. It totally makes sense to me. So here's the first one, Paws. It has an Australian Shepherd, which is known to be like a really good nature dog. So cute. And then here's the color story inside. There's a mirror. This has greens, blues, some warm tones. It has, I think, three metallics. The rest are mattes. I like the range. It's just really pretty. I love greens and blues. So this one spoke to me the most. And then the Claws palette, which has a calico cat on it, which is supposed to bring like good fortune and good luck to those who have a calico cat. So adorable. And they have that special like tri-color coat. And then here it is. There's a mirror and this one is more pinky. It has a little pop of green, some peachy colors. This one is very different from the other one. I can see how they're gonna work well together. So these are the two cute little palettes they are so adorable i'll show you guys what the outer packaging look for both of them here's the claws one it has like the little paw that is so cute and then the paws one which had bones on it so that was all the info about these two palettes so i'm gonna get a little closer so we can get into these looks so let's get into the claws palette now i did prime my eyes already with the give me glow primer and parchment and i'm thinking to do like a soft halo eye for this one so I think I'm gonna start off with Mouser, this gray. I don't speak to me. And I'm gonna use that through the crease. I'm using a rougher brush, by the way. What is this, 14? I'll actually remember to mention a brush name. So that is surprisingly a very pigmented gray matte. And I'm not having any issues with blendability. It seems to have nice pigmentation. And there is a little bit of kickback, but nothing crazy, not as bad as I've seen other palettes. Now I'm gonna go into Furball, which is like a brown matte. And I'm gonna use that in the inner portion. I'm not sure if these are gonna work together. It almost kind of looks like a reddish brown, but I'm just gonna stick that here. I'm just gonna make it work. I really like that gray shade. That's through the crease. It has such a nice tone to it and it's so pigmented. But this is going on really nicely too. And it has a decent amount of depth. I thought it was going to be a little too light like this palette. But actually it's going on pretty well and it actually looks pretty good with the gray. Now I'm gonna go do my lower lash line. I'm just gonna use the same shades. I'm gonna start off with Furball down there and just pack that on the bottom. I don't usually like to do a different color under the eyes from what's like on the top when I do a halo. I also don't like to put the shimmer in the middle on the bottom. I just think it looks weird on my eyes, but I'm just packing that on. Now I'm gonna go into the mouser shade and I'm gonna use that to blend out the edge of that shade. I like what it does to this shade and how it turns it into like a more plummy, cool tone shade. So I'm just gonna do that. So I'm going to now get into uh, the shimmers. I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter primer right in the center of my lid where I'm gonna tap some shimmer. I'm just gonna use my fingers. I'm, I don't really need to be super precise. And now I'm gonna go into the Hair Kitty Kitty shade. I had to use that. It looks like a dual chrome. Oh, it's like a purple, blue, violet, shifty shade. This is so pretty and I'm gonna tap that right on the center right over where I put the glitter. 
the glitter glue. Oh, that is so, so, so gorgeous. It is on the sheer side. So I can kind of see a little bit underneath. So I'm just gonna keep layering that up, but this shade is so shifty. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it is really pretty and it's super smooth. Now I wanna go into this shade called Toll Beans. And this one is like a goldy, pinky, shifty duochrome. It is so pretty and I'm going to go in with this pencil brush and I'm going to just pick that up. Oh my God, this is such a gorgeous shade. I'm gonna spray it as well, just to avoid any fallout and get it to be nice and easy to spread. Oh wow, yes, that has a very strong pink shift to it and it's so smooth it is so so pretty so just to use one more shade let's see what nine lives are like i'm going to use a little bit of that on the lower lash line just like a little bit right there right there in the inner portion i don't know this one seems like a little bit more smooth like a fuchsia shade and maybe is it purple to it? I don't know, but it's not as like sparkly as the other metallics that are in this palette, but it's still really pretty and smooth. So I think that's it. I think that's all I'm gonna do for this look. I really like the combo, the plumminess, the cotoneness. So what I'm gonna do is finish off my eye, do my mascara, liner, lippy, all that good stuff, and then I'll be right back to show you guys the completed look. All right, my loves, I am back and here's the look. I'll show you guys i did a little bit of liner detail nothing crazy i just put like a little white on the outer part and in the inner portion i don't think it shows up as much and i i did a little bit of a fox eye but this eye look was so easy to put together like these shadows just worked so well with one another it was just such an effortless look to put together and that like shifty shade in the center is so pretty and the inner corner highlight that pinky shade I love the tones of this and how it came out, but all I did off camera to finish off the look is I went in with the LA Girl Jet Setter Liner to create the wing and the little fox eye. I use a little bit of this white shade in the Glisten Cosmetics uh, Fairy Freak palette. This cake liner right here, the white one, just to do that little detail in the inner portion and the outer portion. I did go in with the Lethal Gel Liner in Reverb, this lavender shade to kind of go with like the lavender vibes of the like shade in the uh, like middle. And then for my lips, I went in with the Glam Light Lip Gloss in a Pecan Pie. It's a cool tone pinky shade. And I did use a different mascara for once. So I switched it up and I tried out this petite and pretty full feathered volumizing mascara and it's actually pretty good so i like how the lashes came out i didn't do any falsies i kept it simple oh and i did tight line a little bit with the trusty pencil and that is all i did for this very beautiful very easy halo eye and i just love how it turned out so now i'm ready to get into the paul's palette so I went ahead and primed my eyes again with the Give Me Glow Primer and Parchment. I'm gonna start off with the shade called Wolf Wolf, the blue shade, and I'm going to work that on the outer corner and bring it a little bit into the crease, but I'm gonna concentrate that mainly on the outer corner. Ooh, this is nice and pigmented too. It's going on beautiful and there's just a little bit of kickback, but nothing major. But yeah, that's where I just wanna concentrate it at. Now I'm gonna take the same brush, I'm just gonna clean it off with this little color switch, and I'm gonna go into the Lap Dog shade, the beautiful green, and I'm gonna use that to the crease as well. And I'm just gonna mesh these together, the blue and the green, because blues and greens go so well together. I'm just going to use it above that blue, just like higher up in the crease and bring it inward. Now I'm going to go into the Pupper shade right here, this beautiful yellow. And I'm going to use that to line out the edges as well as like kind of pack in the front and like get a, a big little pop of yellow right there. And then I'm just gonna go over the green as well, but I really wanna bring in some of that warmth from that shade here in the front. But yellows are so good at blending out 
uh, green shades. They just go so well together. Now to get some more depth into this look, I'm going to go into a squirrel. <laughs> that's an exclamation mark. That is so cute. And I'm going to take this rougher brush and I'm going to use that on the very outer corner. I feel like we need just a little bit more depth. So I'm going to use it over where the blue is, but I'm not going to take it very far in. It's just going to plop a little bit on the outer corner. We're going to get a little bit more smoky. I like to have a deeper outer corner. I think that just looks the best on me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the lower lash line. I am going to just keep it consistent. So I'm gonna take some green in the front here. I'm also gonna go on with a yellow too, but just here. My eyes are a little sore from taking off the first look. I'm gonna go back to the Wolf Wolf shade, the blue. Oh, here and of course I'm gonna bring that dark brown too on the outer corner. Just gonna get everything looking pretty consistent to what is on the top part. Now let's get into the shimmers and this time I'm just gonna wet my brush. So I'm gonna start off with Good Boy, which just looks like it's a dual chrome. Maybe it has like a purple shift and they're just so smooth and they actually pick up really well on a brush. And I'm gonna spray it. And I'm just gonna use that on the outer section here. Oh my, look how smooth that is. And it's just going right on the lid like butter. Wow, that is so pretty and so sparkly. Can you guys see that? I really like their like dual chrome and like metallic formula. It's just so smooth, but also so special and sparkly and intense. And I love that. You don't have to worry too much about texture from their metallics. Then going into this green shade right here, and I think it's Canada. I think that's the name. And this one looks like it has a shift too. Like there's some kind of dark shift to this, but I'm sure it's gonna be gorgeous on the eyes. I'm going to spray it as well. And I'm gonna put it in the obvious place, right in the front. Oh my God, that's a beautiful green. So gorgeous and so smooth as well, like the blue. Now I'm going to do the inner corner highlight. We're gonna go into a Chew Toy, which this one looks a little bit more satiny, but ooh, it is bright. So I'm gonna pick that up with this pencil brush. I'm going to wet it and pop it right there. We're gonna get some brightness. Oh yes, it's a beautiful like yellowy green metallic. And I'm just gonna mesh it a little bit onto the lid, bring it up a little bit and bring it a little bit down there on the lower lash line. So here we go. This is the finished look. It's my like favorite color combo to do on my eyes, but I'm going to do my lashes, mascara, everything off camera, and then I will be right back to show you guys the completed look. All right, my loves, I am back. Here's the look. I'll give you guys a little preview. You can see how pretty this combo is. I feel like a really beautiful little peacock i love the mix of the greens and the blues with the yellow we got some warmth these metallics are everything <laughs> so all i did off camera to complete this look is i went in with the la girl jet setter liquid liner to create a wing very simple i use the la girl shockwave liner and screaming in the waterline i just wanted to pull in more yellow to match the inner corner and like the you know yellow on the outer edges and then for my mascara, I went in again with the Petite and Pretty Full Feathered Volumizing Mascara. So far, so good. And then for my lips, I went in with the, uh, what is this? Buxom Full Force Liquid Lipstick in Fly Girl. It's a beautiful little peachy nude. I love these, they're so glossy. They give a little plump, they're so pretty. So I just wanted to keep it nude on the lips again. And I think that's it. Yeah, I didn't use anything else off camera. I decided to skip lashes for both of these looks because I was feeling lazy, but I'm very happy with how this turned out. And I love this color store. It's like my perfect little nine pen palette. 
and I'm very happy with it. So I am now ready to uh, pair these two palettes together and create the uh, third look so that we can get into my final thoughts. Another day, time for a look with these two palettes together and I kind of already have an idea of what I want to do so I did go ahead and prime my eyes again with the give me glow primer and I'm gonna start off with the Paul's palette and I'm going to create a shape starting with squirrel and I'm going to come on here and connect it down here this nice dark brown and then I'm going to keep my eye open and just go base on the arch do that that's like my starting ground I mean I will per perfect it but this is what I want to do so far I'll bring it a little bit down here and then I'm gonna fill this space in with the brown I think that's a pretty good shape you know it's kind of wings out from where my eye is like naturally folding at and then I'm gonna just fill in the space and I'm just gonna keep the brown on the outside and now i'm going to clean this brush off with the color switch and i'm going to go into the shade called good boy in the pause palette i love this blue so i'm excited to use it again but trust me i have a different look coming hopefully it comes out well and i'm going to use that just in the center here and continue with that shape and this is just gonna stay in the center. This is such a beautiful shade. I love blues. I love that it is shifty and it's so smooth. So I'm just stamping that on, just like kind of pressing and then spreading and having it connect to that brown wing. And I'm just gonna keep it in the center because I'm gonna put something in the inner front part with a different shade. And that is looking so, so good. So I'm gonna clean off the same brush, keep it simple. And now I'm going to go into the shade called Puppy Dog Eyes. This is one of the shades I have not used yet. And I'm just going to stamp that in the front. It's a beautiful, more pastel blue, but it's so pigmented, do you see that? Oh, that is so pretty in the front. So I'm just gonna stamp that on, keeping it clean, keeping the shape. And same with over here. These mattes are so, so good. So let's get into the Claws palette. And I'm gonna go into uh, this orangey shade right here called, is it Faliday? I think that's the name. And I'm gonna just stamp that down here. And I'm not going to take it too far in. I'm going to keep it more at the edge because we're going to keep using more and more shades. Gosh, this orange is super pigmented. Now we're going to go into Nine Lives, this uh, more like fuchsia pink shade. And I'm using the same brush, but this time I'm going to wet it since it is a metallic. And I want to reduce fallout. And I'm going to use it here in front of the orange. Just adding more and more to this look. We have a lot going on, but I think it's all gonna work out in the end. Makeup is fun, it's not that serious. Let's just do what we want and have fun with it. And now I'm going to go into Toe Beans, the cute little dual chrome that's like gold to pink. I'm gonna use that in the very, very inner portion. This is such a pretty shade. Such a gorgeous dual chrome. So I'm just keeping it in the very front. And then the final shade that I'm gonna use is the Formidable shade in the Claws palette. And I'm gonna use that as my inner corner highlight. Just, I'm gonna tap it right there. It's such a beautiful pink. And I'm just gonna put it right there in the very inner portion. I'm not gonna bring it up into the lid or anything. I'm just gonna keep it right there right there for a little bit of brightness and a little bit of extra pink this looks so pretty and cool but i do want to do one more shade i said i was done but i lied i'm going to go into the male shade and i'm going to use that just to soften the edges down here just to keep everything looking a little bit more blended 
I don't want it to be too harsh down here, so I'm just using that to soften the edges and bring a little peachiness down here, and then I will be done. So that is it for the shadows that I'm gonna use from both of the palettes. I'm going to go and do my mascara, liner, figure out something for my lips, and then I will be right back to show you guys the completed look. I am back and here's the completed look. I think I did a pretty good job with this eye shape. Like I feel like both match pretty well because this eye is more hooded. It hangs a little lower, doesn't fully match up with this one. So I feel like this side always comes out better, but I actually think they came out pretty good. And I'm happy with like the color combo with the mix of like the blue and the brown and the pop of pink on the lower lash line. I would never think to normally like pair these colors together and do it in this way. So I'm very happy that it turned out like this nice I really like this this is pretty it's a little different and it's just so much fun I feel like I kind of have like Barbie vibes for some reason like the mix of the blue and the pink but all I did off camera was I went in with the lethal gel liner and bit crush it's a very bright hot pink liner to match up with the shades on the lower lash line and then I went in with the petite and pretty Fully feathered volumizing mascara. I used the Kiss Lash Glue Glue Liner. I went in with the Kiss So Wispy Lashes. And then for my lips, I wanted to keep it very nude and sheer. And I went in with the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump and Cherry Blossom. It's basically a sheer nude gloss. And it looks really good with this look because I want the attention on the eyes, not so much as the lips. But I think it paired like super nicely. So that is all I did off camera to finish this final look so I think I'm now ready to uh, wrap up this video and give you guys like my final first impressions on these palettes so three looks are done and I have some thoughts I think both of these palettes are really pretty I like the theme and I feel like this is going to connect to a lot of people because there's so many dog lovers out there there's so many cat lovers so I just think a lot of people are going to think this collection is so cute and these would be such a good gifts to give to someone so they release these at the perfect time and I like the nine pan palette setup I like the design of both of them and I think the color stories are really pretty and they're fun and cute and you have these beautiful smooth dual chromes in both of them you have these beautiful mattes that are nicely pigmented they're pretty blendable like I had no issues with none of the shades in here and I do feel like the metallics are more on the smooth side they're not that like flaky more thicker texture that you see in like adept cosmetics or sometimes from unearthly cosmetics so if you want a smoother like dual chrome formula i think you would really really love the ones that are in here and i do feel like they're gonna pair so nicely together like these two color stories i can see were meant to be with one another so i can see how their companion palettes but i do also feel like you can do looks with these individually like you don't have to have both of them so if there was a color story that appealed to you more I would say go with that one because I do feel like I lean towards this one the most like this is my favorite I love blues and greens this combo with the limey shade is so pretty it's like my perfect little palette I can see myself using this so much but I do like this one as well and I'm happy to have it because I think some of the metallics are just so pretty in here and I'm a fan I just think this overall is a little lighter a little more pinky than what I normally go for and I do wish that maybe there was one a darker shade or if this one even darker this would make it even more perfect for me and I think like I would probably gravitate to it more also the thing I want to know if you are buying these together there are shades in each of them that pretty much do one another the oranges in both of these are so similar that they're basically going to look the same in the eye so I wish that maybe one of them didn't have the matte orange because if you're buying these to put them together you don't want dupes like it doesn't make sense to have both of them have a very similar like orange shade in it but that is all I'm going to note with these but I think they're really pretty I'm happy to have them and I don't think you could go wrong with picking these up or giving this as a gift to someone but that was my thoughts on these two palettes and the three looks that I was able to come up with I do hope that this video was helpful though and letting you know whether this is something for you or something you could pass on or maybe if you already picked these up I gave you some look inspirations on what you could do with the palette 
palette but you guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below did you purchase did you pass like what are your thoughts on menagerie cosmetics i would love to hear from all of y'all and if you're new here and you enjoy this video you like a lot of fun and colorful makeup content you like a lot of indie makeup then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family i'd love to have you here also don't forget to check out the description below i will have the palettes linked where you can find them i'll have other videos of mine like other menagerie content that i have on my channel i will also have my makeup that i'm wearing like what's on my face foundation and all that in case you're curious and i will have my contact in my social media platforms i'm also on instagram as Bracy lifestyle and Bracy underscore beauty so if you want to join my instagram fam i would really really love that guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for being here supporting me being amazing i just hope all of you guys are having a wonderful holiday season so far and i'm just sending you all so much light and love but until next time bye guys mm -hmm.